Hi, this is Tori Wilt with the Oracle Technology Network. We're here at Java One Brazil talking to members of the Java community. I have Hirchin Willingo with me. Hi, Hirchin. Hi, Tori. How are you doing? Pretty good. Um, so tell me your role in the Java community. Well, I'm a product manager in the NetBeans team, which means um, I go to conferences like this and do presentations and meet people, and I look at uh, competing products um, internally and compare them and analyze uh, future uh, feature requests for NetBeans. Okay, so tell me what you've been hearing about NetBeans at Java One here in Brazil. Well, um, walking around Java One Latin America, I've seen a lot of uh, buzz about JavaFX. Um, uh, at, the, at the Java One uh, keynotes, um, at the sessions, um, at the booths, the big news is really JavaFX. And um, whenever JavaFX is talked about, it's always NetBeans, because this is the way we deliver uh, JavaFX solutions. So it's, uh, it's been really cool from a NetBeans point of view. Excellent. So tell me uh, what release is NetBeans on and what's coming in a future release? Well, um, NetBeans is at uh, the 7.1 release, where the main feature is JavaFX. So that's the main thing that we're um, leading with. And we've got templates and wizards and a whole library of samples to get you started and tutorials and a real beginner's kit and also more advanced stuff for anyone um, interested in JavaFX. So that's our main uh, feature. But in addition, we have many new enhancements in the Java editor uh, um, itself. So for example, a battery factoring tool to convert all your projects to Java 7 or to whatever you like, because um, you can extend it um, with a declarative language um, um, based on Jackpot. Um, in addition, many other um, editor enhancements, um, enhancements in the Maven area, which is very popular. Um, NetBeans is definitely the leading um, IDE when you want to use Maven. Also great Glassfish support, um, WebLogic. So both of these on Java EE6, um, both supported out of the box with NetBeans. PHP, you name it, we've got it. Git um, out of the box for the first time. Um, so no, no downloads, no installation. It's just part of the, the, the um, default distribution of NetBeans. So it's looking really good. Excellent. Um, and tell me a little bit, I've heard some buzz about the NetBeans platform. Tell me a little bit about that. Right, so the NetBeans platform is uh, a framework underneath NetBeans IDE. Uh, but you can take that framework out of NetBeans IDE and use it at the basis of any other um, uh, desktop, uh, in particular desktop software. So there are hundreds that we know of, um, but probably thousands of applications out there, especially in large enterprises, in military, in defense, and oil, um, um, bank uh, type applications um, on the NetBeans platform. But th the interesting thing is that um, there's no mandatory GUI part of the NetBeans platform, which means you could create any kind of GUI on top of it. So there are experiments being done um, with JavaFX on top of NetBeans platform, for example, which gives you a docking framework and a module system out of the box, or a Scala on top of NetBeans platform, or uh, really anything you like. So it's a really it's a it's a framework for creating um, any kind of typically desktop um, application that you can think of, especially when you're interested in modularity, because there's a, a plugin system built into it. Uh, it's really interesting, and there's lots of stuff um, happening around that. Excellent. So you had an interesting blog that I have to ask you about right. uh, that you wrote, uh, I think, just during DevOx, where you were saying um, uh, the big buzz at the show is everybody's developing for mobile and nobody develops for desktop anymore. And so what, what did your blog say in effect? Well, in effect, I mean, what happens at conferences like, like Java One, like DevOx, like any conference, is that obviously um, when selections are made of uh, topics for the conference, the, um, the interesting topics are chosen, and interesting topics are normally new topics, because people don't want to hear about things they already know. So typically what um, ends up being um, accepted into a conference are topics dealing with mobile and web, because there's a lot of buzz around that um, with HTML5 and Android um, and so on. But the desktop, there's a lot of stuff going on as well that is kind of hidden, um, like, as I said before, in, in the enterprise, um, behind the firewall, um, in corporate environments, where they can't even, even if they wanted to, wouldn't be allowed to talk about all the stuff that they're doing. So just, it was, my blog entry was just pointing out the fact that there's a lot more going on, even though you might not see that at conferences, and kind of stating a concern that um, future direction of products might be based on um, on false premises because of that. Oh, on buzz rather than what what's right. really going right. on out right. there. Right. Right. right, right, Okay, so it sounds like NetBeans IDE, if you want to learn Java effects, if you want to develop, if you want to develop for the desktop right. or mobile, it's right. a great tool to right. use, right? It's all there, it's all there. Just download it, it's free, um, it's extensible. Use Where do it. you get it? NetBeans.org. There's, okay. a, there's a very big download button um, right at the top. Just okay. click it and click another button and you've got it. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Hir Chun. It's sure. been great to talk to you right. and have a great show. Thank you very much. This is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network.